This is Viking TV. Fun. Funky. Elegant. At the Purple Plume, they have something for every kind of woman. Poto's premier boutique, the Purple Plume, offers a rich variety of clothing, accessories, and jewelry. For dressing to the nines or just dressing for the nine to five, there are clothes for every mood. They also offer a selection of items ideal for the home and the family. The Purple Plume, for your one-of-a-kind boutique experience in historic downtown Poto. Eddie Thompson came to Artvest Bank looking for a new checking account. Let's see what happens. So Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Artvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it's, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Artvest Bank, ready to help. McDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O, with a chick chick here and a chick chick there, here a chick, there a chick, everywhere a chick chick, old McDonald. If old McDonald had a farm today, he'd have a coyote tractor on it for sure. E-I-E-I-O. Test drive one at your local coyote dealer. Welcome you to Poto, Carl Albert State College, as we get set for some Lady Viking softball here on Viking TV. I'm Justin Pettit. Thanks for joining us on what is an absolutely gorgeous Saturday afternoon for a doubleheader here in Poto. A little windy, and well, we'll tell you that right now the wind is kind of blowing in our face, and we are right behind home plate. So uh, that could play a factor here, but it, it doesn't seem to be constant. It comes in gusts, so... As you know, uh, the weather and the wind here and th at this little ballpark, for some reason, just has a mind of its own. So we will deal with that. If you hear a little wind in your, my microphone, I'm sorry. It's just part of it. But nevertheless, we got a great game, a couple of games here for you. The, the opponent today, the Southern Arkansas University Tech Lady Rockets come in with a record of 16-12. and 12. They're 7-7 seven and seven in conference play. They've... Uh, have won two in a row, while the uh, Lady Vikings split a pair with Western Oklahoma State College back on Thursday. Lost the first game 9-5, to five, but came back and won the second 10-2. Uh, to two. They come in with a record of 8-22, but they are also 7-7 seven and seven in conference play and uh, have a 5-15 and 15 record at home. So I think this is going to be a great contest here. The crowd continues uh, to come in we got the per usual are a slew of little dogs running around so you probably hear some dogs barking and you know what that's okay again other than a little bit of wind it is going to be a beautiful afternoon for a double header here on viking tv we'll take a quick time out and be back with your starting lineups on viking tv eddie thompson came to our best bank looking for a new checking account let's see what happens so Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Arvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it's, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Arvest Bank, ready to help. Uh, no. Try again. No. Oh well, come in now, because apparently we're having a seal. Blue Ribbon Salazar, all the low price cars. What the? Alright, who left the camera on? Blue Ribbon Salazar, all the low price cars. The thing that makes me proud to be a Viking is the staff definitely try to help kids that are not involved in organizations 
fit in and have stuff to do rather than just going to class. It's not an outrageous amount of money and plus it's not it's not bad education either. So you can get your two years done here and you can go somewhere else and not be in much debt. We learn to work together in teams as well as becoming a better leader ourselves. It's not that hard. You can have a good time here for the next two years. Visit carlalbert.edu. There's a Kubota for every job. You'll find the one for your job at Gray Brothers. Serving the Fort Smith and Podo area, Gray Brothers equipment is staffed with friendly experts ready to help you step up to the Kubota mower, tractor, or excavator right for you. For residential, construction, farming, and more, Gray Brothers offers the machines and the service you can depend on. Kubota's signature orange is the sign of quality. At Gray Brothers, if you pick orange, you'll never get a lemon. This is Viking TV. Go Vikes. And we're back here in Poto. The Lady Vikings get set for a double header against uh, Southern Arkansas University Tech. And you can see, folks, the wind is, well, just as I was bragging on it, not gusting too bad, it really started to pick up. And you're going to see pollen and dirt and everything flying through the air on this afternoon. But you know what? That won't stop us here uh, getting these two games in. Other than the wind, honestly, it is a it's a beautiful day. I think you could say that about a lot of days here in LaFleur County. But uh, while we got a minute, let's go ahead and meet your Carl Albert State College Lady Vikings softball team. Isabel Ray, Norman High, pitcher. Go Vikes. Katie Bailey from Antlers, Oklahoma, first base. Brooklyn Adams, Mansfield, Arkansas, catcher. Michaela Dodds, Davis, Oklahoma, outfielder. Chloeana Madbull Jim, Antlers, Oklahoma, pitcher. Brady Wardrobe, Colgate, Oklahoma, and I'm a utility player. Cheyenne Miller, shortstop, Bennington, Oklahoma. Laramie Rains, Tushka, Oklahoma, first and third. Rachel Dismuke, Moore, Oklahoma, utility. Reese Robinson, Fort Smith, Arkansas, third base. My name is Shaylee Gilkey. I'm from Bartlesville, Oklahoma, and I'm an outfielder. Go Vikes! Charlie Taylor, Greenwood, Arkansas, shortstop. Izzy Pack, Lexington, Oklahoma, utility. Tessa York, Hydro, Oklahoma, utility. Hi, my name is Allie Ernie. I'm from Bartlesville, Oklahoma, and I'm a pitcher. I'm Abigail Wakefield. I'm from Sand Springs, Oklahoma, and I'm a pitcher. Reagan Smith, Bunch, Oklahoma, outfield. Rayleigh Allison, Muskogee, Oklahoma, first base. My name is Delaney Willoughby. I'm from Valiant, Oklahoma, and I'm a catcher utility. Go Vikes. There you have it, your Carl Albert Lady Viking softball team. As I am glad I brought my sunglasses today, even though we're under the awning here. The dirt is really, it's like when I mow my yard for the first time uh, during the spring, getting all that dead grass and dirt out of the way and that's kind of what we're dealing with here today but again uh, if we can we can handle the wind this afternoon it is going to be a beautiful day for a couple of softball games so we'll take another time out and come back hopefully with the first pitch here on viking tv First National Bank has been your local bank for longer than most can remember. We believe that when our customers thrive, our communities thrive. That's why First National Bank has been committed for over 110 years to providing reliable banking, face-to-face -face service, state-of-the-art mobile or online banking. Our most important assets will always be our customers. When you choose First National Bank, your money is invested into the community, providing loans, local support, and jobs, making our communities better places to live. First National Bank. Local lenders. Local decisions. Ever wondered why your Mazio's pizza tastes so good? In three words, Mazio's Quality Pledge. We promise you real beef and sausage, real mozzarella, sauce prepared daily with Mazio's special spices, dough made fresh every day, never frozen, and crisp garden veggies freshly cut. For lunch or dinner or any meal in between, each Mazio's pizza promises top quality ingredients. Mazio's is better.
Only, only, only at your local True Value. Fun, funky, elegant. At the Purple Plume, they have something for every kind of woman. Poto's premier boutique, the Purple Plume, offers a rich variety of clothing, accessories, and jewelry. For dressing to the nines or just dressing for the nine to five, there are clothes for every mood. They also offer a selection of items ideal for the home and the family. The Purple Plume, for your one-of-a-kind boutique experience in historic downtown Poto. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O, with a chick chick here and a chick chick there, here a chick there, a chick everywhere a chick chick, old MacDonald had a farm. If old MacDonald had a farm today, he'd have a coyote tractor on it for sure. E-I-E-I-O, test drive one at your local coyote dealer. Eddie Thompson came to Arvest Bank looking for a new checking account. Let's see what happens. So Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Arvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Arvest Bank, ready to help. Try again. No. Oh well, come in now, because apparently we're having a seal. Blue ribbon Salazar, over the low price cars. What the? Alright. Who left the camera on? Blue ribbon Salazar, over the low price cars. The thing that makes me proud to be a Viking is the staff definitely try to help kids that are not involved in organizations fit in and have stuff to do rather than just going to class. It's not an outrageous amount of money and plus it's not it's not bad education either. So you can get your two years done here and you can go somewhere else and not be in much debt. We learn to work together in teams as well as becoming a better leader ourselves. It's not that hard and you can have a good time here for the next two years. Visit carlalbert.edu. You're watching Viking TV. And we're back here in Poto getting set for the first pitch as the Lady Vikings take on Southern Arkansas University Tech out of East Camden, Arkansas. So down towards South Arkansas. Starting pitcher for the Lady Vikings is uh, Issa Ray, number 17. Starting lineup for the Rockets. Batting first will be Molly Swisher, the center fielder. Kennedy Norris, the left fielder. Caitlin Havard, Hovard, the shortstop. Ellie Cox, the pitcher. Ashley Carrasco, the first baseman. Riley Leonard, the catcher. Alicia Goulet is at second base. Delilah Antonio is in right field. And Caitlin Barrett is third base. Catching today for the Lady Vikings is Tessa York, number 14. And batting first, Molly Swisher. Center fielder for the Rockets. I have plenty of stats here, folks. It's the wind going to cooperate where it doesn't blow it everywhere. So we'll see what we can do here. Swisher, freshman, batting 407. Got a home run and eight RBIs. First pitch, a little high. It's ball one. pitch just misses it's 2-0 I oh, know they called that a strike got a the umpire was a late call there looked good from here but he didn't react so usually when they don't react it's a ball so one and one's the count in the dirt two and one we had a game here against Murray State a couple of yeah, it's been about a month ago. We had an absurd amount of full counts. I think we had something between the two teams in the two games, like 32 full counts. 
Two and one. That's going to be hit. If the wind keeps it in, it should be caught. Nope, but takes it out, so it's two and two. If Swisher gets on base, she's a threat with 12 stolen bases. So if you're the Lady Vikings, you definitely want to go ahead and get her out here. 2-2 two -two count, top of the first inning. That's going to be foul back, stays 2-2. Two and two. Normally we have two company vehicles that we drive down here, but one of the other ones is in use at an, another event we're doing, so I had to drive my own truck down here, and I parked way far out, Joe. I'm not even, I'm not even taking chances. I don't need a busted windshield. 2-2 two, two count. It's high, full count. Just misses and Swisher's on first with the walk. Brings up Kennedy Norris, sophomore batting 500. She's got a home run, 22 RBIs, 11 stolen bases. So. That's foul back out of play, 0-1. Ray comes in, the three and four record, 19 strikeouts. That's gonna be hit down the right field line and it's gonna go out of play as the wind just completely takes it out into the bullpen and it's 0-2. So Ray in good shape here. Outside, Swisher got a b nice run there like she was going to steal, but I think they knew that was going to be an outside pitch. That's generally what happens when you get an 0-2 count. 1-2 is the count now. That's high. Two and two, no outs, runner at first. We're in the top of the first, just underway here in Poto. That's gonna be hit into left field. It's gonna be an easy out. Smith is out there and there's one down. Cortland Harvard is the Next batter batting 433, five home runs, 22 RBIs. That's gonna be line down the first base line as Swisher was looking to steal, maybe a little hit and run there, but everybody's gotta go back. Pitch gonna go right to third, chance for two. A little bobble there, and they get the lead runner at least. So there are two gone. Brings up the cleanup hitter, Ellie Cox, sophomore. Batting 486, four home runs, 32 RBIs of the wind is just really picking up here, folks. It's going to be hit in the center field, and it's going to be a nice grab out there by Dodds, and that'll end the inning. So they got a walk and a runner, but no runs. We head to the bottom of the first scoreless here on Viking TV.
There's a Kubota for every job. You'll find the one for your job at Gray Brothers, serving the Fort Smith and Podo area. Gray Brothers equipment is staffed with friendly experts ready to help you step up to the Kubota mower, tractor, or excavator right for you. For residential, construction, farming, and more, Gray Brothers offers the machines and the service you can depend on. Kubota's signature orange is the sign of quality. At Gray Brothers, if you pick orange, you'll never get a lemon. First National Bank has been your local bank for longer than most can remember. We believe that when our customers thrive, our communities thrive. That's why First National Bank has been committed for over 110 years to providing reliable banking, face-to-face -face service, state-of-the-art mobile or online banking. Our most important assets will always be our customers. When you choose First National Bank, your money is invested into the community, providing loans, local support, and jobs, making our communities better places to live. First National Bank, local lenders, local decisions. You're watching Viking TV. And we're back here in Poto. Rockets got one walk, but stranded the runner at first. The pitcher for the Rockets is Ellie Cox. And leading off for the Lady Vikings is the left fielder, Regan Smith. Batting 250. Five RBIs, four walks, six stolen bases. Both teams wearing dark uniforms here. So Reagan awaits the pitch. In there for a strike. Stats here for Ellie Cox. Oh, one pitch is high, one and one. Cox comes in with a record of four and two, eighty four strikeouts. It's outside, two and one. Two one count, no outs here in the bottom of the first inning. That's high, three and one. Comes a 3-1 pitch. It's going to be hit to the shortstop. Nice throw of the first, and there's one down. Shortstop Cortland Hubbard with a nice throw over the first. As Smith has wheels, but there's one down. Delaney Willoughby is the next batter. Sophomore batting 300, 13 RBIs. On away, one and oh. Here's the pitch, it's high two, two and oh. Back and out of play, makes it two and one. One gone here in the bottom of the first inning. That 
was in there for a strike. Three and one's the count. Actually, they call out a ball. I tell the zump to be a little louder. Can't hear him up here with all this wind. So it's a 3-1 count. There's one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Just off to a slow start here. Gets the corner, full count. Here comes the full count pitch. Swing is going to get through the infield, and it is a single for Willoughby. Boy, she worked for that one. Brings up Tessa York. Batting 278. A home run and six RBIs. Playing catcher today. So runner at first, just one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Charlie Taylor is on deck. Pitch is going to go right back to the pitcher. Throw over the first is in time. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. So one hit, no runs. We head to the second scoreless on Viking TV. Ever wondered why your Mazio's pizza tastes so good? In three words, Mazio's Quality Pledge. We promise you real beef and sausage, real mozzarella, sauce prepared daily with Mazio's special spices, dough made fresh every day, never frozen, and crisp garden veggies, freshly cut. For lunch or dinner, or any meal in between, each Mazio's pizza promises top quality ingredients. Mazio's is better. Laramie Reigns, go Vikes. Well, Lady Vikings got a single in their half of the first, but the double play ends that, and we go to the second leading off. Ashlyn Carrasco. Freshman batting 400, a home run, and 27 RBIs. Ray gets the signal, pitch is low, 1-0. and oh. Crowd continues to show up here. That one's in there for a strike, 1-1. One So looks at a wristband and gets the sign, delivers. That's going to be up the middle. That's going to maybe get through. Oh, nice play. And a nice play out there at second base. That was Willoughby. That looked like it was going to be a hit for sure. She's able to put the Jets on, get it, and there's one down. Riley Leonard is the batter now. Three twenty one with eight RBIs. Ooh, a little high, two and oh. Nice reflexes by Leonard. Let's go, Isa. 
Two O's the count, one out in the top of the second. That's gonna be uh, Hopper over to Taylor who gets it, throws it over to Bailey and there's two gone. Great job by Taylor out there. Adams looked like she was gonna get it but it was just too far for her. Brings up the second baseman, Elisa Goulet, I believe is how you say that. First pitch is a ball, 1 0. That's going to be a high fly, but I think the wind is going to carry it out and thankfully does not hit anybody's vehicle. So it's one and one. <laughs> Tell you what, you're gonna if you hit a home run out of here today, folks, you're gonna really have some power behind it because that wind is just whipping right out of center field. One one, two outs. Lady Vikings trying to make quick work here in, in the second. That's a little high, two and one. Swing and a miss. All twos on the scoreboard. Two balls, two strikes, two outs in the top of the second. Ray checks her wristband, and here comes the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. He strikes her out. Three up, three down. Lady Vikings going to try to get some runs here in the bottom of the second. We'll be right back on Viking TV. true value. Fun, funky, elegant. At the Purple Plume, they have something for every kind of woman. Poto's premier boutique, the Purple Plume, offers a rich variety of clothing, accessories, and jewelry. For dressing to the nines or just dressing for the nine to five, there are clothes for every mood. They also offer a selection of items ideal for the home and the family. The Purple Plume, for your one-of-a-kind boutique experience in historic downtown Poto. This is Viking TV. Back here in Poto as the wind continues to whip. Leading off for the Lady Vikings. Shortstop Charlie Taylor. Batting 301. Got four doubles, triple, five home runs, and 18 RBI. First pitch in there for a strike. It's going to be down the first base line. She hit it with a glove, so that's fair. And Taylor's going to get in there with a single. Lady Vikings had the leadoff. Runner on again. A leadoff hitter on base, I should say. Brings up Katie Bailey, the first baseman. Batting 291, five home runs, 17 RBIs, six doubles. Vikings trying to strike first here in the bottom of the second. It's going to be swing and fouled out of play. A 
That's outside, one and one. One and one, runner at first, no outs here in the bottom of the second. That's a little high, two and one. Two and one. That's going to be hit to third base. They're going to try to get the lead runner. They do. But the throw of the first is not in time. So it'll be a fielder's choice. One down. Move up Issa Ray. 362, nine RBIs. Runner at first, one down. That's going to hit Ray, and she will go to first base after being hit by the pitch. Now, normally, I would say that the wind does not have an effect on the pitching, but I think it is today. That's how hard the wind's blowing behind, and it's coming behind the pitch, so that may actually cause a lot of trouble here. Brings up Michaela Dodds, the center fielder. Batting 259, two RBIs, and a double. That's going to be a bunt. It's laid down over the first. It's way over the head. So on the last play, they were going to say no out. So Riley got runners at first and second, one out. No, that's not right. Runners at first and second, one out. Dodds at the plate. That's a little high. One and one, one out, runners at first and second. Lady Vikings trying to get a run here. It could be tough to come by this afternoon. Oh, it's going to be a bump, perfectly laid down. The row to third is not in time, so everybody's safe and the bases are loaded. That brings up Brooklyn Adams, another freshman. 256, four RBIs, three walks. Man, I tell you what, if you can get a single here, you're going to score maybe two. But again, it's, it may be tough getting it out of the infield. Got to hit everything on the ground today. She's showing bunt. Backside of it. Oh, crushes it to far, the pitcher. Throws it over the, to, pitch, or to home for one. And it's going to be a double play to end the inning. So that'll end the inning, no runs, a couple of hits, a hit by a pitcher, they leave the bases loaded. We head to the third, scoreless on Viking TV. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O, with a chick, chick here, and a chick, chick there. If old MacDonald had a farm today, he'd have a coyote tractor on it for sure. Test drive one at your local coyote dealer. Eddie Thompson came to Arvest Bank looking for a new checking account. Let's see what happens. So Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Arvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Arvest Bank, ready to help. You're watching Viking TV. Go Vikes. We're back here in Poto. Lady Vikings had a missed opportunity in the bottom of the second, but we're still scoreless here in the top of the third. Batting for 
the Rockets, Delala Antonio, freshman batting 235. A couple of RBIs and a double on the season. Swing and a miss. It's an 0-2 count for Ray, who's pitched pretty good here. Again, dealing with this wind, which normally, normally when we're here, it likes to blow out of right field. This one coming right in our face behind home plate. Swing and a miss. Second straight strikeout for Issa Ray. And that brings up Caitlin Barrett, the third base, baseman for the Rockets. Batting 240, five RBIs, drawn eight walks. That one's in there for a strike. So Ray really getting in her stride here in the last inning and a half or so. That one just misses one and one. out here in the top of the third. Swing, and that's going to be hit to left field. But great job out there by Reagan Smith, and there's two gone. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get anything in the air right now, folks, with this win. Brings up Molly Swisher, the leadoff batter. She walked her first at bat. No count. It's going to be a hit. Smith's out there again as the wind just absolutely dies it down. The inning's over. We head to the bottom of the third, scoreless on Viking TV. Uh, no. Try again. No. Oh, well, come in now because apparently we're having a seal. Blue ribbon Salazar over the low price cars. Who would have the camera on? Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. The thing that makes me proud to be a Viking is the staff definitely try to help kids that are not involved in organizations fit in and have stuff to do rather than just going to class. It's not an outrageous amount of money, and plus it's not it's not bad education either. So you can get your two years done here and you can go somewhere else and not be in much debt. We learn to work together in teams as well as becoming a better leader ourselves. It's not that hard. You can have a good time here for the next two years. Visit carlalbert.edu. This is Viking TV. Go Vikes! We're back here in Poto. Lady Vikings have left five runners or four runners on today. They got to take advantage of that here as Brady Wardrop is the hitter. First pitch is a strike. Wardrop, freshman, batting 242, got a home run, one RBI, a walk, and two doubles. Pitch is going to be hit over the shortstop's head. It'll be a base hit. And Lady Vikings again have the leadoff batter on. So we're back to the top of the lineup. Reagan Smith rounded out. It'll be a bunt, it's down, but it'll be out of play, 0-1. 0-1 oh 
0-1, no outs, runner at first here in the bottom of the third inning is Smith can't get her batting gloves on. <laughs> she, there she goes. Fakes the bunt. They may throw back to first, but Wardrop did a good job of getting back. One on one is your count. Knocks the livers. It's going to be hit right to shortstop. It's at least one. No, it's not. It's going to be an error. And the runners are safe at first and second. Brings up Delaney Willoughby. She singled her first at bat. Looks like we're going to have a Substitution out here. And we may have a pitching change, maybe? Nope, we're actually going to put somebody at second. Get my roster here. Number two, Madison Martin. She's going to check in at second base. Willoughby, boy, if we get a base hit here, that would be big. I think runs are going to be at a premium this afternoon with these conditions. Bunt is down. Oh, it's perfectly laid down, and everybody's going to be safe. What a bump by Willoughby just along the third base line, and we got the bases loaded and no outs. If you look up Bunt, in the dictionary, it'll show a picture of that. That's how good of a bunt that was. That brings up Tessa York. She flied out to a double play, her first at bat, but get that bad stuff out of the way. You need a base hit here. Pitch. It's in there for a strike. Of course, this is game one of two. That's going to be a hit into the gap. That's going to score at least one. Two runs are going to score. Yes, and the Lady Vikings take a 2-0 lead off a two-RBI single by Tessa York. Wardrop and Smith come across, so that puts Willoughby and York out on the bases, and it's 2-0. Brings up Charlie Taylor. She had a single her first at bat. Pitch. It's a ball, one and oh. That was a good hit there by York. She's very patient with that. One and oh, runners at first and second. No outs here in the bottom of the third. Lady Vikings has already played a two, and that, oh my goodness, what a play. Great play out there by the first baseman, Carrasco. Gets the line drive, steps on the bag, and that's a double play like that. Brings up Katie Bailey. Reached on a fielder's choice. Still got a runner out there at second. That's going to be high and away, 1-0. Oh. That was a really good play by Carrasco out there. If she doesn't get that, two more runs score. That's going to be hit into the gap, and it's going to be down. Runner will advance to third, and we got runners at the corners. Brings up Issa Ray. She got hit by a pitcher first at bat.
First and third, two outs here in the bottom of the third, two nothing Lady Vikings. In there for a ball, they're calling again, this uh, umpire is not real vocal, doesn't make many movements, so I kind of got to guess what, what he calls. One owes the count. Calls that one a strike, one and one. Pitch. It's in the dirt and the are they going to say that it hit her again? I, I believe so. It'll be another hit by pitch. So that'll load the bases so Ray gets hit again. As the rocket coach coming out here. Talk to him before game like a pretty laid back guy Get too excited so that brings up Michaela Dodds she had a single her first at bat that would go a long ways right now bases are loaded but two outs here in the bottom of the third it's gonna be a miss 0-1 going for a little slap hit there Laid off of that one, good eye, one and one. Time they know they're going for that little slap hit, they try to throw high and get you to chase it. The Dodds did a good job of holding off of that one. One and one, two outs, bases loaded. Swing and a miss, one and two. So Ellie Cox, the pitcher, trying to get out of a jam for the Rockets. Now that's going to be hit to the pitcher over to first is in time. So the second straight inning, the Lady Vikings leave the bases loaded, but they plate two and we head to the fourth inning. It's 2 nothing. Carl Albert. We're back on Viking TV. There's a Kubota for every job. You'll find the one for your job at Gray Brothers, serving the Fort Smith and Podo area. Gray Brothers equipment is staffed with friendly experts ready to help you step up to the Kubota mower, tractor, or excavator right for you. For residential, construction, farming, and more, Gray Brothers offers the machines and the service you can depend on. Kubota's signature orange is the sign of quality. At Gray Brothers, if you pick orange, you'll never get a lemon. First National Bank has been your local bank for longer than most can remember. We believe that when our customers thrive, our communities thrive. That's why First National Bank has been committed for over 110 years to providing reliable banking, face-to-face -face service, state-of-the-art mobile or online banking. Our most important assets will always be our customers. When you choose First National Bank, your money is invested into the community, providing loans, local support, and jobs, making our communities better places to live. First National Bank, local lenders, local decisions. You're watching Viking TV. We're back here in Poto. Lady Vikings get two in the bottom of the third, take a two nothing lead. But give credit to Ellie Cox, the pitcher of the Rockets, because she's been in a tough situation with the bases loaded in the last two innings and gotten herself out of there with just two runs. So. Brings up Kennedy Norris, the left fielder. Kind of fly out her first at bat, but Ray's been pitching really good here over these last couple of innings. A couple of strikeouts. And then Smith out there in left field, tracking them down and putting them out. That's going to be a little away for a ball.
that's high two and oh. Ray delivers. That's going to be crushed. Center fielder cannot get down out there. That's Michaela Dodds. It's going to be extra bases and a double for Kennedy Norris. But good effort by Dodds out there. And brings up Cortland Hovard. She reached center fielder's choice. Everything's set, now we're ready to go. That's gonna be hit out into right field and trying to track it down was this mute, but the wind caught it. And we're gonna have a double, but the runner's gonna stay at third. So runners at second and third, no outs. As again, this mute tracked it down, but a little swirly out there with the wind. That brings up the pitcher, Ellie Cox. 0 for 1 with a fly out. But now she's got runners at first and second, or excuse me, second and third. No outs. Two nothing Lady Vikings. A little low, one and oh. High two and oh. You almost think they may just try to walk her here. Load the bases, that way you have a force out at every bag. That's right back to Ray. She holds the runner over the first. Nice play by Issa. Took her time. Held the runner at third and gets the Lead runner at first, and there's one down. Brings up Ashlyn Carrasco. She had a ground out of first of that, but she had a great play in the field. Caught a line drive, stepped on first for a double play. It's going to be hit out there to Smith in left field. She will get it. They're going to try to tag the runner, and I think they're going to get it. So there's two gone. That was Norris who scored. And the sacrifice fly brings up Riley Leonard. Low, 1 and 0. Oh. Leonard, 0 oh for 1 with the ground out. Runner at second, two outs. 2 to 1, Carl Labert here in the top of the fourth. Swing, gonna get out of the outfield and almost grabbed out there, and that's gonna score a run, and we're tied. Brings up number two, Madison Martin. Swing and a miss. Two. 
Now you're trying to get out of get out of this little jam. O2 pitch is way away. One and two. Swing foul back into the dirt pile. And it's one and two. Asa trying to get her third strike out here. Outside, and it's going to get into the outfield. It'll be a double. It will. They cut it off, but now we have runners at second and third. Brings up Delilah Antonio, struck out her last at bat. So the Rockets really coming to life here in the top of the fourth. They've tied the game up, and now they've got runners at second and third. It's going to be foul out of play, 0-1-1. Tie one and one. Let's go, Delilah. Time out for something. Swing and a miss. One and two. That gets the corner. It's a third strikeout for Ray. But the Rockets get two, and we're tied at two, headed to the bottom of the fourth on Viking TV. Ever wondered why your Mazio's pizza tastes so good? In three words, Mazio's Quality Pledge. We promise you real beef and sausage, real mozzarella, sauce prepared daily with Mazio's special spices, dough made fresh every day, never frozen, and crisp garden veggies, freshly cut. For lunch or dinner, or any meal in between, each Mazio's pizza promises top quality ingredients. Mazio's is better. watching Viking TV. We're back here in Poto. Lady Vikings trying to answer after the Rockets get two of their own to tie the game in the top of the fourth. So Brooklyn Adams comes to the plate, 0 for 1 with a ground out. Wing and a guess that was foul. Good grab by the catcher Leonard out there. But it was foul, so it's only one. Inside one and one. One 
one pitch on the way. Swing up, might drop down. It will be a base hit for Adams. And the laid off, and that's actually going to get away. And it's going to be an error, so she'll get over to second. So heads up running by Adams and runner in scoring position, just like that as Brady Wardrop comes to the plate. Or she is one for one with a single. Brady showing bump, she'll back out of it. Not now she'll go down, but then it's gonna be a throw high and away, and it's one and oh, but the infielders are ready for that. One and oh, runner at second, no outs, bottom of the fourth. Swing, is it gonna get down? It will, off of the shortstop's head. The runner's gonna score. That's gonna be Adams, she scores, and it's a double for Wardrop. And the Lady Vikings take the lead right back, three to two. Brings up Regan Smith. So Reagan is one for two with a single, and she scored. Now she's got a good opportunity for an RBI here. Takes, misses on the bunt. And Wardrop gets back over to second, and it's 0-1. Still no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Reagan hits that one, it's gonna be out of play. Oh, almost hit the mix TV van, the Viking TV van, but thankfully it missed it. Owen two, Smith trying to get out of this one. See if they go away. Get her to try and chase one. They go high, so it's one and two. One and two, still no outs, runner at second. That's gonna be fouled back, stays one and two. That's Wardrop over at second. Smith lays off that one, so it's two and two. Game's really slowed down here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing right back to the pitcher. It's going to get down for a hit, so Smith is on. Runners at first and second, no outs. Brings up Willoughby. She's two for two with a couple of singles. Second, no outs. That's going to be crushed in the right field, but it's going to go foul. The wind just pushed it and pushed it and pushed it some more. 
It's all in one. Yeah, you can't be behind on anything today or it's gonna just go foul. That's out of play, 0-2. Two runners at first and second. Still no outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Swing. It's going to go right to shortstop. Throw over to thro third is in time. That's going to get past first base. So we'll have runners at the corners. They get the first out. Brings up Tessa York. She had a Two RBI single, her last at bat. One down, runners at the corners. Misses one and oh. That's going to be down, but it'll be a out of play, so it's one and one. And the pace has slowed down here in the fourth. It's going to be a st steal as Willoughby gets down to second. So now we got two runners in scoring position. Still one out with a 2 1 count. The wind's died down a little bit for the moment. Prime opportunity for a big hit. That's inside, 3 and 1. Again, if you're the Rockets, not this wouldn't be the worst thing if you walk her here because it would give you force outs at every bag. Swing, foul, and we got a full count. Just the third full count between both teams this afternoon. Now the wind picks back up. Full count. Inside, she walks, and that loads the bases. Brings up Charlie Taylor, one for two with a single. one out. Man, a base hit here would really extend this lead. That's high. One and oh. He's off that one, 2-0. Oh. Bases loaded, one out. Bottom of the fourth, the Lady Vikings have played in one. Here's the pitch. In the first strike, two and one.
Swing, and it's going to go right to second base, but everybody's back in time, so there's two gone. Brings up Katie Bailey. Reached on a fielder's choice and had a single. Misses 1 and 0. Bases loaded, two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a strike, 1 and 1. Swing and a miss, one and two. Lays off of it, two and two. Gonna be fouled back out of play. We stay at two and two. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bases loaded, bottom of the fourth. That's gonna be hit into the outfield. It's gonna get to the fence. One run will score. Two runs will score. Make it three. It's a bases clearing double for Bailey. And the Lady Vikings take a 6-2 lead. We may have a pitching change here. discussing here. Yeah, it looks like we have a pitching change, so we will take a timeout and be back on Viking TV. True value. Fun, funky, elegant. At the Purple Plume, they have something for every kind of woman. Poto's premier boutique, the Purple Plume, offers a rich variety of clothing, accessories, and jewelry. For dressing to the nines or just dressing for the nine to five, there are clothes for every mood. They also offer a selection of items ideal for the home and the family. The Purple Plume, for your one-of-a-kind boutique experience in historic downtown Poto. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O, with a tick tick here and a tick tick there, here a tick, there a tick, everywhere a tick tick, old MacDonald had If old MacDonald had a farm today, he'd have a coyote tractor on it for sure. E-I-E-I-O, test drive one at your local coyote dealer. And we're back here as the pitching changes occurred, and Issa Rae hits one out into a center field, and that'll end the inning. The new pitcher 
for the Rockets is Kylie Johnson. She comes in and gets the out as Ray flies out to center field. So now we head to the fifth. Six to two, Lady Vikings as they plate four. We'll be back on Viking TV. Eddie Thompson came to Arvest Bank looking for a new checking account. Let's see what happens. So Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Arvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Arvest Bank, ready to help. Try again. No. Oh well, come in now, because apparently we're having a seal. Blue ribbon Salisaw over the low price cars. What the alright? Who left the camera on? Blue ribbon Salisaw over the low price cars. The thing that makes me proud to be a Viking is the staff definitely try to help kids that are not involved in organizations fit in and have stuff to do rather than just going to class. It's not an outrageous amount of money and plus it's not it's not bad education either. So you can get your two years done here and you can go somewhere else and not be in much debt. We learn to work together in teams as well as becoming a better leader ourselves. It's not that hard and you can have a good time here for the next two years. Visit carlalbert.edu. Laramie Reigns, go Vikes. We go to the top of the fifth. Lady Vikings up six to two. Ray still out there. That's gonna be right to your shortstop, Charlie Taylor. And there's one down. That was Barrett. And it brings up Molly Swisher. Walked and flied out her first two at bats. Just misses one and oh. Oh, they're gonna call a strike. But it was close. Again, this umpire, he's, he's not real vocal with his calls. So I almost have to use my judgment. And I don't have the best view of the plate. So that's going to be hit in a bad position. But, oh, Smith comes out there. Oh, they're going to say it got down. Great hustle by Smith. Looked like it did bounce off the turf. But still a great play with this win for Smith to come out there and almost grab it. Kennedy Norris, one for two with a double. A little low, one and oh. inside 2 and 0 oh. This is there 3 and 0 oh, so Ray's going to have to reel it in here Don't want to let the Rockets back in this one. One out, runner at first. 3-0 count, in there for a strike, three and one. <laughs> That's gonna be down the line and it's gonna be fair. Runners will stay, so another single. Back-to-back -back has runners at first and second with just one out. 
Portland Harbor comes to the plate. She had a double her last at bat. Gonna go past the third baseman down. Runners will stay. So now we got another bases loaded situation after three straight singles by the Rockets. Brings up Cox. Who is 0 for 2 this afternoon. So bases loaded, just one out. Is foul out of play, 0-1. Maybe the first one to reach the water, nope. That's high, 1-1. Good play there by York as that was really high and she had to jump up and get it. Otherwise, it might have been a run scored. That's going to be hit. It's going to be foul, and they don't get it. Again, the wind just absolutely carrying everything here. And it's, it's a one and two count. So, Ray, maybe if you can get a strike out here, that will really make things easier for the Lady Vikings. That's going to be hit into center field. Great job out there by Dodds. But one run will score. Makes it 6-3. to three. Brings up Ashlyn Carrasco. Playing over at first. Sacrifice fly. Her last at bat. So now we got runners at second and third. Two outs here in the fifth. Lady Vikings still up six to three. That's going to be hit out into right field, and it's going to be down. Two runs will score, and it's six to five. Way to go, Tan! Just like that, six to five. That brings up Riley Leonard. I have a pinch runner here, I believe. Looks like Anna Broom will be the pinch runner. As Coach Watson comes to the circle and calls a meeting. Six to five, is this between the bottom of the fourth and the top of the fifth? It's been a long, long cup, long inning here. Let's go, ladies. It's like when things are moving fast, when things are moving fast, the Lady Vikings seem to be in control. When they slow down, the Rockets seem to really kind of be in control. Runner at first, two outs, six to five is your score. Outside. That's in there for a strike, one on one. No, no, they're going to say it missed, 2-0. Oh. See, it's, I'm having to try the gas here. <laughs> this, this umpire is just not giving me anything today. Oh, 
I think that's a strike. Nope. Three and oh. Three and oh, two outs. And misses. It's a walk. at first and second. That's going to be crushed down the left field line, but it's going to be way out of play foul. Madison Martin, number two, had a double. Swing and a miss, 0 oh and 2. So Ray trying to trying to get out of here to keep the one run lead. Reaches for it. It's going to be out of play. 0 oh and 2. That's high, and it goes behind the catcher, and the runners move. The second and third. One, two count. There's the dirt and the hay and the grass and everything else is just piling up here <laughs> on the equipment and our desk. That's going to be foul. One and two, the count stays the same. That's gonna be crushed, and that may get down. It will not. Nice grab out there in center field by Michaela Dodds to end the inning. Rockets get a couple, but Lady Vikings lead six to five on Viking TV. There's a Kubota for every job. You'll find the one for your job at Gray Brothers, serving the Fort Smith and Podo area. Gray Brothers equipment is staffed with friendly experts ready to help you step up to the Kubota mower, tractor, or excavator right for you. For residential, construction, farming, and more, Gray Brothers offers the machines and the service you can depend on. Kubota's signature orange is the sign of quality. At Gray Brothers, if you pick orange, you'll never get a lemon. First National Bank has been your local bank for longer than most can remember. We believe that when our customers thrive, our communities thrive. That's why First National Bank has been committed for over 110 years to providing reliable banking, face-to-face -face service, state-of-the-art mobile or online banking. Our most important assets will always be our customers. When you choose First National Bank, your money is invested into the community, providing loans, local support, and jobs, making our communities better places to live. First National Bank, local lenders, local decisions. Ever wondered why your Mazio's pizza tastes so good? In three words, Mazio's Quality Pledge. We promise you real beef and sausage, real mozzarella, sauce prepared daily with Mazio's special spices, dough made fresh every day, never frozen, and crisp garden veggies, freshly cut. For lunch or dinner, or any meal in between, each Mazio's pizza promises top quality ingredients. Mazio's is better. This is Viking TV. We're back here in Poto as Michaela Dodds comes to the plate after making a great play out there in center field to end the inning. She's one for two with a single. Then the pitcher for the Rockets, Kylie Johnson, who came in and pitched one pitch in the fourth, and she stays out there. Out 
Outside, 2-0. and Three and O is the count, just like that. So that caught the corner, three and one. Johnson's ready. 3 1 pitch. It's going to be fouled away. 3 and 2. Full count. That's going to be hit into center field, and it will be fielded out there by Molly Swisher, and there's one down. So good job by the pitcher Johnson there to got behind 3-0 and worked her way out of it. Here's up Brooklyn Adams. Single and scored. Strike, 0 and 1. No, oh, you're going to be crushed in the left field, but it goes right to Kennedy Norris, and there's two down. Brings up Brady Wardrop. She's two for two with a single and a double. This is 1 and 0. So Johnson's a good job here for the Rockets coming in in relief. Retired every batter she's faced so far. Lady Rockies trying to end that streak. She tried to chase it, and I think she was safe there. 2 and 0. Didn't quite swing around. Folks, you can probably see it on your screen, all this stuff, <laughs> debris in the air. I think it's coming off those trees over there. Foul up and out of play, two and one. Yesterday, or I think it was yesterday, the Pirates, the Pittsburgh Pirates were playing a baseball game and they were, it was snowing. It kind of looks like that here, but it's obviously not snow. I don't know. You never know what the weather around here. There's the pitch. It's going to be flied up in field, but the wind, oh, it's going to be a hit. The wind just absolutely is wreaking havoc out here, folks. You know, every time we come down here, the wind's blowing, but it, it's twice as worse, if not three times. So runner at first, two outs. Regan Smith comes to the plate. Regan is two for three with a couple of singles and scored, swing and a miss there.
That's going to be a base hit down to center field. And there's runners at first and second. Delaney Willoughby comes to the plate. Swing and a miss. Two for two, a couple of singles and reached on a fielder's choice. First and second, but two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Inside. That's going to be hit. It's got a chance. It is gone. It's a home run. A three-run home run for Delaney Willoughby. She caught it when the wind was blowing right in that direction, and the Lady Vikings extend the lead. Makes it nine to five. Now nine to five. They've done all this with two outs. Of course, big time here in Poto, they're expecting with the eclipse on Monday, total totality here for about a, over a minute. So of course, as you can imagine, town's a little busy, everything. York at the plate. Walk, she's got a walk, a ground out, and a two RBI single. That's gonna be a hit. It may get down and, oh, nice grab out there in right field by Antonio, and that will end the inning, but the Lady Vikings plate three, we head to the six. It's nine to five here on Viking TV. Only, only at your local True Value. You're watching Viking TV. Go Vikes. We're back here in Poto, nine to five. Lady Vikings get a three run home run from Delaney Willoughby. Take the four run lead here to the top of the sixth inning. Issa Ray remains the pitcher. My papers are just flying all over the place today, folks. Kylie Johnson is at the plate. Oh 
going to be hit right over to first base. Tag out is in time. Good play out there by Katie Bailey, and there's one down. Barrett to bat. Misses 1 and 0. Oh. Gets the corner 1 and 1. Barrett is 0 oh for 2 with a fly out and a ground out. That's going to be right to third base. Throw over is in time. Nice play out there by Adams over to Barrett, and there's two gone. And brings up the leadoff hitter, Molly Swisher. Rockets were down, had two outs their last inning, and Swisher started a rally. And that's going to be, oh, nice play, but not in time. But a great play out there by Delaney Willoughby, but it's another single for Swisher, and you hope the same thing doesn't repeat itself here. As Norris comes to the plate. Norris with a single and a double. That's a ball, 1-0. That's going to be in the, the outfield. Runner will go to third. They try to get her, but somehow we have runners at the corners. Another single, and this is very reminiscent of the last inning. Got them to two outs and back-to-back -back hits. Brings up Cortland Harvard. A single, a double, reached on a fielder's choice. Two outs, runners at the corners here in the top of the sixth. Foul and out of play. 0-1. This is 1-1. That's going to be down for a single. One run will score. Again, this inning really <laughs> turning out like the last one. As Cox comes to the plate. She had a sacrifice fly. I won't be able to do that in this inning because there are two gone. Runners at first and second. Orozco on deck. In the dirt, 1-0. That's going to be into the outfield. 
One run's gonna score. Well, maybe. They got her. Think they got her. They did. Great play from center field by Michaela Dodds. Throws the runner out, and that ends the inning. We head to the bottom of the six, nine to six, Lady Vikings. We're back on Viking TV. Fun, funky, elegant. At the Purple Plume, they have something for every kind of woman. Poto's premier boutique, the Purple Plume, offers a rich variety of clothing, accessories, and jewelry. For dressing to the nines or just dressing for the nine to five, there are clothes for every mood. They also offer a selection of items ideal for the home and the family. The Purple Plume, for your one-of-a-kind boutique experience in historic downtown Poto. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on this farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O, with a tick tick here and a tick tick there, here a tick, there a tick, everywhere a tick tick, old MacDonald had a farm. If old MacDonald had a farm today, he'd have a coyote tractor on it for sure. E-I-E-I-O. Test drive one at your local coyote dealer. This is Viking TV. Go Vikes. Great play again to end the inning for Michaela Dodd. She ended the, the fourth or the fifth inning with a great grab in center field and then a great throw to get the runner at home. And we head to the bottom of the six, nine to six Lady Vikings as Charlie Taylor will lead off. We got game two for you coming up. After this one, they usually take half an hour or so between games. Might be a little quicker this time around with the travel for the Rockets back to South Arkansas. 2-0. You know, that's in there for a strike, so three and one. Right to Barrett, over to first. Nice throw, and there's one down. Brings up Katie Bailey, the first baseman. One for three with a single and a three RBI double. That'll be a hit by a pitch. Put a runner at first with one out and brings up Issa Ray. She's been hit by a pitch twice this afternoon and has a fly out. So she's due a hit. And out of play. It's a low one and one. A strike one and two. Foul 
Come down to play. One and two. It stays. One and two, runner at first, one out. That's going to be lifted in the left field for the second out. They hold the runner at first, and there's two gone. <clears throat> Brings up Michaela Dodds. Just one for three, but she has had some fantastic plays in the field. Going to be right to second base, over to first, and that will end the inning. So we head to the top of the seventh, nine to six Lady Vikings here on Viking TV. Eddie Thompson came to Arvest Bank looking for a new checking account. Let's see what happens. So Eddie, that's my blue checking. With free blue checking, you get a debit card, access to our Arvest Go Wait, app. Wait, by free, you mean it's free for the first six months or something? No, no, it, it's actually free. But what about monthly fees? Nope, no monthly service fees. Wow, that's really... Helpful? Very helpful. Free yourself from monthly fees with free blue checking. Arvest Bank, ready to help. Uh, no. Try again. No. Oh well, come in now, because apparently we're having a seal. Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. What the? Alright, who left the camera on? Blue Ribbon Salazar, home of the low price cars. You're watching Viking TV. We're back here in Poto's. We're at the top of the seventh. Lady Viking trying to close this one out and win this one. Up nine to six. Here we go now. Number 10, Ashlyn Carrasco, the first baseman at, to bat. That's going to be hit down the right field or first baseline and it's way out of play. Again, anything hit in the air is getting just absolutely blown away. That makes that three run homer by Willoughby even more impressive. Outside one and one. Be a base hit in the left field, and the first runner is on here in the seventh. Brings up number 19, Riley Leonard. A walk, an RBI single, and a ground out. And there for a strike, 0 and 1. Foul back, 0 and 2. So Ray ahead in the count again. Two pitch, foul back, back here by us, but it's down. Almost hits Terry, our camera guy, but it's 0-2. Don't forget game number two coming up here, I would say probably about 3.30. A 
if the Lady Rockets can put together a rally here as we've got softballs going all over the place. Runner at first, no outs, 0-2 is the count. Outside one and two. Gonna be hit out to Dodds in center field, and there's one gone. Number two, Madison Martin. One for three with a double. going to be a base hit in the left field. Now there's runners at first and second as the Rockets not going down without a fight, that's for sure. for a strike, 0-1. One. one out, runners at first and second. Johnson is the batter. Hunt is down over to first, but nobody's there. That's gonna score one run, and it makes it nine to seven. So nine to seven's your score now here in the top of the seventh is again, the Rockets are not going down without swinging and fighting. Mr. Carl Albert, you just gotta, gotta get your head back into this one and finish this one out. Barrett to the plate, just one out. Runners at second and third. With Swisher on deck, who has just been a thorn in the side of the Lady Vikings this afternoon. Misses, 2-0. and oh. Actually, 1-1, one one. they call the first one a strike. First and second, one out, top of the seven. That's gonna be hitting the left field. Gonna try to score here, and they will get it, so it's nine to eight. Runners over to third. And that brings up Swisher, who's super quick. Side. So runner at third, two outs, nine to eight here in the top of the seventh. Misses. No, they're gonna say that's a strike. Going again. This this umpire is 
Not real quick with his, <laughs> with his calls or vocal. So I have to kind of wait a second here. The crowd kind of gives their their call, and that's foul back, one and two. But their call is not always the right one. They're kind of like me. They're kind of guessing. One and two. Ray delivers. It's high, two and two. That misses, full count. Back out of play, full count. It's going to be right to the left field, and that will end the game. So <laughs> took everything they had, but the Lady Vikings take game one, nine to eight. Kind of a marathon of a game for softball, so that will end this first game. We will cut the stream, come back with game number two here, probably in about a half hour or sooner on Viking TV. There's a Kubota for every job. You'll find the one for your job at Gray Brothers, serving the Fort Smith and Poto area. Gray Brothers equipment is staffed with friendly experts ready to help you step up to the Kubota mower, tractor, or excavator right for you. For residential, construction, farming, and more, Gray Brothers offers the machines and the service you can depend on. Kubota's signature orange is the sign of quality. At Gray Brothers, if you pick orange, you'll never get a lemon. Ever wondered why your Mazio's pizza tastes so good? In three words, Mazio's Quality Pledge. We promise you real beef and sausage, real mozzarella, sauce prepared daily with Mazio's special spices, dough made fresh every day, never frozen, and crisp garden veggies, freshly cut. For lunch or dinner or any meal in between, each Mazio's pizza promises top quality ingredients. Mazio's is better. True value. This is Viking TV.